Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Joy of Sticks. Now after <laughs> playing Outrun uh, I needed a bit of a palate cleanser so I've jumped over to Boogie Boy um, another early Atari ST racing game another arcade conversion this time done right uh, this game is an absolute belter why oh, can't I hear any sound perhaps there isn't any sound on the demo version I don't know we'll find out won't we yeah so this one is um, converted by Elite and if only Elite had also done Outrun because I'm sure it would have been miles better Alright, let's have a go then, shall we? And we're off. Okay. So what, one of the things I like about Boogie Boy is, yeah, it's a racing game, and it has a time limit and all the usual trappings of a racing game but it's also a score attack at heart which is really cool um, so obviously you can go through these gates to get points you can collect the flags for points and do other things like jump for points and there's also bits like that where you have to spot the jump early and go for it in order to get the oh, in order to get the hidden things behind barriers and stuff and another cool thing is that if you collect those flags in the right order if you look at the top right of the screen then um, you get like this bonus mode where the flags repeatedly change colour and then any flag you get counts towards your progress on that on the top right meter um, which is a nice little touch it's basically a racing game with collectibles and uh, a lot of score attack to it and it's, it's just oh, a lot of fun and one of my criticisms of Outrun was that the um, frame rate is atrocious. I'm not entirely sure that the frame rate is any better here, to be honest. But what is better is the fact that. Oh, oh, oh. What is better is that the track is taking up a lot more a lot more of the screen so I can actually see what's coming up ahead um, granted the, the sense of speed isn't there on this game I mean after all you're in a dune buggy right a sand buggy you're not tearing along in a Ferrari but in just about every other way it compares most favourably to over you hit the football and then it appears again later on two wheels baby yeah the football appears later on again for you to hit again is that right or am I confusing it with another game right I need pink next oh, I need blue leg four Now this, this track, I think, is it, was it called Off-Road? I think it was. Is a circuit uh, that you repeat over and over. The other ones are not. Um, they're just uh, like a rally type, a rally cross type thing. Where you go through different stages and don't do a circuit. Oh dear. Oh. <laughs> it's 
So yeah, obviously those red time gates are absolutely essential. Who put a rock on a bridge? What kind of sadistic track designer was that? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Ooh. I seem to remember doing that on one of the other laps as well. There it is. Ooh. legs there are. What would be quite interesting actually if any of you watching this have this game. <laughs> It'd be interesting to see if you could play it and beat my score. Have some kind of online score attack. Actually a few years back there was something run by some of the oh oh it's exactly the same place where I crashed last time <laughs> I think it was oh I missed the ball no oh I wanted to get that all the way to the finish line oh how annoying oh I never touched it yeah as I was saying a few years back um, on the Atari forum a couple of the guys there ran a what it was called Stot S T O T, the S T offline tournament. All oh, the balls there. And um, it was basically just a Yeah, you've done it. Play a game, see what score you get, post it up, and then they kept a running total of who, you know, there was like a league table of who were the best players, so it was really cool. Encouraged me to play games I wouldn't have otherwise played and uh, play them extensively to get better at them which was really cool. I don't know, maybe we could do that. <laughs> Post your buggy boy scores. There you go, there's mine. 808, oh no, 88,840. Can you beat it? <laughs> oh, I'm going to have another go at this but I'm going to have a go at one of the others. What should we do? Oh, South looks like a complete ball ache. Let's go with East. Originally named <laughs> track titles there. Right, we're off. We seem to be not so much in the East, but in Egypt by the look of the uh, pyramids in the back there. Yeah, already this seems like a more challenging track. That time's not easy to get. Oh dear. Not sure how we're going to get on if we can't get the time bonuses. So yeah, as I said in the um, Outrun video that I made, Woo! I always thought this was really cool when I was little banking up there. Yeah, as I said in the Outrun video, This, this is just how you make an arcade conversion. The sprites are big, the frame rate's good. It's low, it's buckets of fun. You can see lots of the track up ahead. The only thing that Outrun's got over this really is the music. The music is good in Outrun. Whereas this has a monotonous uh, engine noise in the background. What do we need? We need red. Where's the red flag? Oh, I missed another time, that's not good. jump just before, I've obviously got to hit that jump to get that time bonus. And I need pink. There's the time bonus again. Yes! Got that one. I was going to hit that 
gate then for sure. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how you're supposed to avoid that rock. But never mind. Onward. I missed that time. Come on. Oh, it's time for another bridge. Have they placed a rock on it? Not this time, thankfully. What did I hit there? Come on. Ah, oh, the sound you make when you hit those reeds is brilliant. I might have to hit one on purpose. Another time gate. Not good. Seems to be doing alright for time at the minute though. We're panicking just yet. But of course, left over time at the end all equates to bonus points. So I do want to try and get that. Listen, listen. <laughs> oh, I love that sound. It's like being slapped with a wet fish. Stop it then. Let's race. Ay, 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 ay. I mean, it just goes to show how subjective these things are, really, isn't it? I was ragging on Outrun for its appalling sound effects, and I'm celebrating the fact that this game's got appalling sound effects. Oh well, that's opinion for you. Can actually fall off your two wheel if you uh, steer the wrong way too hard. If you steer the other way too hard, you fall back down to four wheels. Which I always thought was pretty cool. Like that. <laughs> yeah, because I was on my uh, right set of two wheels, um, steering left too hard caused me to crash. Oh dear. It's all gone a bit pear shaped. Come on, get to the end. It's right there. Oh, they finished line by the bonus gate thing, the stage end. <coughs> Bless me. Was right there. Oh, not so good that time. 61,000. That's definitely a score to beat there. Oh, hang on. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, that that is a racing game. Absolutely fantastic. Just loads and loads of fun. As I say, the score attacks nature of it is, I wouldn't say unique. I'm sure there are other games out there that do it, but that game does it really well. You don't often get that in a racing game, so very cool. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.